Sorry, y'all. We're, we're back. Uh, and we're back home. Came home. Wonderful world with Fort Myers. I saw some interesting people. Guy with no shirt on. I think sunbathing at the bus stop. Talking to another guy. It's like a homeless guy talking to like a guy who looks like he has a job. And it was just like interesting. Like why are these two people you know, conversing right now. It's very interesting, you know, to people you wouldn't think talking together. But sure as shit, they were. So we're back home. And then, you know, I just got home, right? But prior to getting home, I was approached by some of my fellow sober house community members. They said, Jordan, I need your help. And I'm first thinking like, ooh, the ladies need my help. Here I am, you know. But no, it wasn't the ladies, it was someone else. And they needed help with their rent and to give a collection. It's like, can you give like ten, five dollars? I was like, okay, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's get straight to the point. How much money is this guy need? About two hundred? Okay, okay. I'll give you a hundred fucking dollars. Let's just get to. Let's just cut to the, cut out the all the flim flam. You know what I mean? What do we need? Two hundred. Got you on a hundred. Get a hundred from the other people. Boom. Problem solved. So there you go. Like that's how I like to jump at problems. You know, it's like let's just let's get right into it, man. Let's get fucking right into it. No tiptoe. Don't tiptoe that bullshit. Don't don't nickel and dime me. You know. Let's get right to fucking business. Yeah. I mean, that's my way of helping a lot because I don't have the physical time and energy to, like, sit and, like, comfort you and give you a massage, you know, or, like, like, and talk about things. Then again, apparently I have time for this shit. I don't know, I'd rather talk through, to, through a video than to sometimes people because just some people, I don't know, people just make me uncomfortable. Like, even, like, the lady I was talking to who brought up the idea, you know, she wanted me to, she hugged me and wanted me to hug the guy who we were trying to help. And I, and I was just like, I'm good. And we both were good. We were like, nah, we'll cancel the hug, dude. <laughs> she, I I'm not trying to hug anybody right now, man. I'll hug you, you know, because you're right here. And, yeah, you know. Yeah, sober house. Women. Men. It's a couple, it's good people, you know. I wanna, I wanna, I've tried to bang a couple of them, I'm not gonna lie. Like, one of them, when we, we were in the more restrictive, high-level halfway house before, me and this girl, you know, I literally asked her, like, hey, you wanna get down, you know? You wanna get down. Sometimes that's how I come at women, you know, I just say, I just ask, like, hey, I know you're, you're you need some, I need some. What's up? And she turned me down, apparently on the pr on the premise of she doesn't want to get kicked out and get in trouble, which is true because we are not supposed to fraternize, ladies and gentlemen. Fraternizing, I don't know if you know this, but in the drug rehab, sober house, recovery community, you know, you're not really supposed to fraternize, especially with the newer people, people newer in sobriety. In, in clean time, you know, just getting clean. Just so you, so you know that, you know, you're not supposed to like, just get, oh, this girl has a month clean, ooh, I'm gonna go out with her. Snatch her up and, uh, you know, eat her up like a fucking wolf. Well, that's what some men do in recovery. Take advantage of these new women. I mean, if, I'm telling you right now, man. If a girl in recovery, sober, no matter what time she has, right now, and she wanted some from me, I'm gonna give it to her, you know? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go chasing. But hey, if you come at me, you step to me and my hula hoop, you're, we're swimming, you know? Well, that's it, we're, we're getting down, dude. We're getting down. Yeah, I don't really, like the ladies I've been, hooking up with you know, lately they've been 
over the past year. They're not even like in. They're just regular people. They're not even drug addicts. So that's cool. I'm trying to step my game up, you know. I'm tired of drug addict women. I really am. I'm tired. I'm kind of tired. But then again, it's like they understand me, you know, and I understand them. So there's a. So there's a certain advantage to that. But then again, you know, as they say, two dead batteries won't start the car. But really, it's a stupid analogy because I thought a car only has one battery. So I don't know where the fuck they come up with this corny. See, I don't know if you guys know, but in the world of sobriety and recovery, there's a lot of cheesy one-line, like, semi-helpful sayings. Some of them are helpful. Some of them, I think, are just dumb. Like, one day at a time. That's good. Because really, the truth is, a lot of stuff we worry about as human beings, a lot of it's just made up, and most of it's not even going to happen anyway. Right? That's been my experience. So that's why, like, I do, I really, I do practice that a lot, because I don't even know what's going to happen next week. It could turn out like something I didn't even, well, you know, there's so much possibilities in tomorrow. So that's why we are not oracles, you know, we're not, we don't have fucking crystal balls. That's why that one's, that one's my favorite quick one-liner phrase. A lot of them are just, just, uh, whatever, man. I'm just trying to live life, man, you know? Trying to help people. I like, yeah, oh yeah, I like helping people by giving money because cause I'm kind of like my dad, you know, I got this from my dad. Like, oh, oh, you need some? All right, here's some money. All right, feel better. Here's some money. You know, oh, you need money? Here's some money. Oh, wait, didn't I already talk about that? Shit, I don't even remember, dude. Dude, uh, this is like five days without medication. My Prozac. I'm thinking about stopping see what happens because I'm on another medication anyway so it's like why do I need two yeah why but I got it anyways you know just to be safe just got it today just to be safe I don't want no epic freakouts